Alright guys, we got about 20, 25 mile per hour gusts for winds and uh, maybe 10 or 15 otherwise. So we're going to try a little test here in the wind with a GPS lock as far as uh, how well it can hold a hover. And then we're going to do return to homes on our respective uh, squares in the sidewalk and to see just how close they are. Um, they get back to their their home spot, and that's the Phantom right there. In case you didn't know, and that's the Blade 350 QX. Both have GPS lock, so they are going to set their home points as soon as we, we take off. So we're going to test it out. We're going to do a little fly, and then, and then hit return to home, and then we're going to do one at a time and see how close they actually get. Okay, you can see them. They're kind of fighting fighting it a little bit but they are holding and that was a good, good gust about 20 miles an hour I'd say and then we're calm now again so they're holding so they're both pretty equal in that respect this one's drifting a little bit all right I'm gonna go way up he's gonna go off to the side and go a little bit of height and then we're gonna do a return to home and see how close these puppies get Okay, I just activated it. I brought it down a little bit and then activated the return to home. Either way, we're pretty far away. And uh, it's gonna hold in and then it's gonna start dropping. A little windy, so we're gonna see. How close it actually gets. It's having a little bit of trouble. It's adjusting itself before it starts dropping down again. And that's normal, I would say, with the wind, and I understand that. So this be a good test on a windy day, and then we'll do a calm uh, day, how well it hits the mark then that day too. So right about there is where our landing point is going to be. I don't want to actually land it on the ground. Okay, so that was, I would say, 10 feet off on a windy day. And now I'm going to return to home. These things are really fighting the wind. So hopefully they don't crash. It seems awfully stable right now though. So we're going to see how close it can get. Because it's really gusting now. Maybe that 25 mile per hour wind. down on its own, we'll let it land, and it lands in a phantom spot. <laughs> At least it got it on the sidewalk. Uh, the phantom landed about over there, so that's about 10, 12 feet, right? Well, this one, going all the way over to that, is about the same distance. And they both landed when it started getting real windy like this. And uh, I think they're about the same. That's the way it really seems in these windy conditions. So we're going to retry this on a nice calm day. And uh, we'll go from there. Either way, they both landed safely and came back. And surprisingly, up in the air where it got really windy, they were quite stable. But uh, it kind of freaked me out a little bit because they are very expensive. And uh, especially this one. I definitely don't want this one and all of its gear on there to uh, go off into the sunset. <laughs> 